Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. It's Debbie Dubois here with Kalina Malnar. Hi, Kalina. Hi. And we're here to do another video. Actually, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a video series. Uh, we've done a little bit of talking and discussing, and we know that there's a lot of people that are having a really hard time um, in the Twin Flame community with the process that they're going through. And we've had a lot of people asking us for help and guidance. So we just decided to put our heads together and um, we're providing you something called divine guidance for the Twin Flame Ascension process. So um, this is the first in a series that we're gonna do. And our objective is really to help you to get to the other side of this process we know that it's been a really frustrating process and we both feel that we've actually like come out on the other side and intact and actually in a really good place so we're gonna do whatever we can to help you get to the other side yes we're still alive we made it. <laughs> we're alive we're happy we're full of joy um yeah. and the one thing that we want to say is that we it needs to be the understanding that it is not a just a twin flame process it is about the process of ascension right. um it is a love path and it is um it takes you to your heart from your heart awakening to the unconditional fifth dimensional um state that you'll be living in so that's that is the process of right. this um, ascension process. It is not just the twin flame process. So we wanna clear that up for everybody. Right, we're gonna pretty much be referring to everything as like sacred love and sacred partnership, because really this is applying for anyone who is triggered with a heart opening, um, catalytic experience. It can be, you know, uh, it, it could be someone that's not, you know, even someone that will be in your life for much longer. It, it, it's it's everyone that decides this is the path for them to spark their awakening process, to open their heart, um, and begin the process. Now. Because we're going to be referring to this as sacred partnership, sacred um, union, divine love does not mean that we are discounting twin flames. We know twin flames exist, but we also know that a lot of people, you know, might not be twins and right. nobody is excluded from the ascension process. If it motivates you to get the work done, then that's why you're on it and that's why you chose it. Yes. yes, everybody's going through ascension, every soul. Right. So we're um, we're basically here just to clear that up, clarify that, bring in the terms that maybe you haven't seen in the Twin Flame community, in the um, groups that you're in, and in the stuff that you have read. Um, I feel that there's more to um, it's process than what is actually being told in the um, twin plan groups. I it needs to be clarified. It really yes. needs to be clarified. I agree. Um, what we plan to do is to give you some specific guidance. You know, there are different parts of the process that require different tools and different approaches. And um, we can help give specific guidance that will speed this process up for you, that will help you get to different states of being quicker. Um, we don't want to say that, that people are stuck per se, because we hear a lot about people being stuck. This is a journey and there's no such thing as being stuck as everything is an experience, but, if you're not in a place that is beneficial to your being, if you're not in a place where you're feeling love and joy and happiness and moving forward and making progress, then this is an alternative for you. If you want to stay in a particular scenario, you're free to do that as long as you wish. But if you're tired of it and you're really ready to move past wherever you find yourself, then this might be something that will help you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to provide and give um, you specific tools for healing and clearing that aren't going to um, take money out of your pocketbook. Because um, yeah. there are a lot of people out there we understand that can't afford some of the sessions that are available. Um, so we are going to provide that information for you. Right. 
We're also going to help you identify how you can get help if there are things that you're having a hard time getting past because, you know, if you have a particular sticking point or there's certain things that are, you know, you haven't been able to move past or clear or um, you need one on one guidance, there are so many different places that you can get that help. Um, so we will also cover that because we want you to know all the tools that are in your toolbox. But like Kalina said, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do to change your state of being that don't require any money at all. And so we wanna teach those things and we want to give you indicators as to, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, when I feel this way, I can pull out this tool, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Okay. So um, at the end of, oh, well, wherever we're going to be providing this video we're going to be asking for questions correct right we'll take the five top five questions that we feel yep. will help yeah um and answer them in the next video right that would be um, like a maybe a summary like a summary section or maybe we'll start out our videos that way we're not really sure but it, you know get together some of your biggest questions um, mm -hmm. And then write them down in the comments below, no matter where it is. We're going to take a look. We'll probably be posting this in several different places, but probably the best place to put your comments is actually in YouTube um, so that we can go to a centralized place where we know um, what the questions are that are accumulating. And then we will take the time, you know, to answer any of those questions to the best of our ability. and. Um, one one last thing is that we are entertaining the thought of doing an actual radio show of some kind, which will give us the ability to take call-ins and actually deal with people's real life situations. Um, that's something that you know we're toying with, we're experimenting, you know, thinking of the best ways to do that. If that is something that is of interest to you, please also comment below. And if you have tools that you know of, like particular broadcasting platforms that you use or someone else that you know uses, please tell us, please message us and let us know because we're just in the exploratory process. We wanna keep this like free for people. We want this piece of our teaching to be free for people. So anything that you know of that will help us do this in a really cost effective or free way would be a most appreciated. So. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to do everything that we can. We're here in service. Yeah. Is there anything else? I mean, can, maybe we should just share a little bit of why we kind of want to do this. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, because we've been divinely guided that it's needed. Um, <clears throat> I have an energy um, sitting here uh, and, and, and like Seb told me earlier, she said, you need to let people know why you look around your room a lot. It's because I do see the energies of and angels and things that are uh, with me, guiding me. And um, I, I've been guided and she has been guided um, for a phone call the other night. We're on um, maybe a three hour phone call of that we need to do this to clear up um, a lot of the, uh, I forgot the word that he said earlier. Um, probably wasn't a good word. <laughs> it wasn't probably a good word. <laughs> yeah, I won't say that. We won't go there. But just to clear it all up so that there is that better, deeper understanding that this is about the ascension process and that the twins do. Um, have to go through this as well as everybody else. Well, and, and twins, but not just twins, everybody's going everybody. through this. Everybody's Everything. going through this and people, different people are motivated by different things. You know, there are some people that have come here on a life path of a career or a life yeah. path of some kind of injury that's taken them to a you know, handicap position where they, you know, have to learn certain things, whatever the driving forces, whatever the motivating forces, whatever is important to you is what is going to drive you and lead you through the ascension process. It's going to prod you. It's going to, it's going to make the stakes really high so that you do the work that needs to be done because you want a particular outcome, whether it is to walk again or whether it is to, you know, cure a disease that you have, or it does not make 
matter what the path is, the steps are going to be the same. And you're going to go through the same kind of issues. And, um, you know, I myself have gone through a great growth process. And this is my fire. This is what my passion is in removing all of the blocks that kept me from living in an open hearted way, in a way where I am productive in my career, where my relationships in my family and with my children and with my, you know, my closest friends that they've all, you know, opened up for me. And that as you give out the energy of unconditional love, this path takes you to a place of unconditional love and once you get there what you start to see is that it returns to you in every way it returns to you from the from the people in your family who you might have been having you know tensions with or from your best friend or mm -hmm. your twin if you have one or other people that come into your life that meet your vibration and your resonance and your friendships so right. That is my primary reason for wanting to do this. I was looking at one of the groups the other day and my heart almost broke when I started, you know, listening to some of the comments. There was someone that actually was talking about slitting their wrist, that they had done this over this path. And, you know, I've been happily, merrily working away in my web design business and, and that is a big calling for me. But I'm sorry, I get really choked up because when I, when I think about people getting to that place or that they've experienced that kind of pain, I also have experienced pain on this path. I've experienced a lot of feelings where um, I felt separate from the whole and I felt alone. And this is when I realized, wow, I got through this. I got through this. I got strong and I don't want anyone to be in that position. I don't want people to be in that position if they don't have to be. So that's really what motivated me. And then of course, Kalina and I, we've been talking about this for a long time. We've been kind of going through this path together in, in some shape or form, haven't we? Yes. And, 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 um, yours has just been much longer. My experience is much, it's been different and mine has been, um, uh, what turbo. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in an accelerated path of it's an accelerated yeah. mode. Bing, like, went <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> but for divine reasons for why we're here. Right. So, but everybody's experience is different and we're going to be addressing that as well right. because, um, when you're reading stuff in these rooms and when you're seeing people that are in this dire needs, not what you went through may help that specific person. They may need um, a little more guidance. Um, obviously mm -hmm. that school did, um, but with deeper understanding and compassion for that person, there's so much going on that we need to address. And, right. um, well, and Kalina was really helpful for me during this process of stepping into my divine feminine, um, my empowerment, you know. Um, so, you know, yeah. we've kind of helped each other along the way. We've kind of reminded each other of things along the way. And, uh, you know, she'll be like, what's this? And I'll be like, oh, that's this. And then I'll be like, what do I do about that? And she'll go, oh, this is what I do. So we kind of... <laughs> we kind of helped each other in that way. And so I think that we're really well teamed to try to help some uh, others of you out there. And if you resonate with what we're talking about, then we really invite you to go through, you know, the videos with us. Um, they're just offered up in service because that's kind of why we're here. We're really in service, um, I would say, as way showers on this particular path. And uh, whatever we can do to help would be you know, we know we're doing our job, right, Kay? <laughs> yes. And one other thing I just wanted to say is I have recently heard someone say that um, <clears throat> bringing the heaven and, on earth is, uh, they kind of blew that away, um, saying that that's not really why we're here. I did see that in a video, and I, I don't really watch hmm. people suffer, read other people's things, but for some reason that day I was drawn to it, and when I heard that, um, it kind of upset me because it is one of the reasons that a lot of us are here, but it's one of the things that I work on. But when you put it together, this process of going into the fifth dimensional reality into unconditional love uh, is where we are bringing heaven to earth. Mm -hmm. um, and people need to understand that. Mm -hmm. So um, that was very important for me.
Yeah. As above, so below. I mean, it's, it's, you know, as we move into that space, then we create that reality around us because we are constantly creating our reality. And the difference between where we've been and where we're going is that we were unconsciously creating our reality and now we're going to be consciously creating our reality. So that is what this is going to be about. It's really not so much about, geez, how do we get in union with our twin? But it's how do we get to where we need to be as a human being, as a divine feminine, masculine, balanced person? How can you be happy again? And I'm sure a lot of you really would like to know the secrets, how to be happy, how to be joyful, how to be full of love again, how to have your heart open, how to be in your power, how to know how to hear your guidance. All of these things are the things that we're going to talk about. So we really hope you'll join us. Yes, we're going to help ease your struggle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it really is going to help. So anyways, we would like to ask you at this point, if you have any questions that you would like answered in our next video, please put them in the comments below. Uh, and if you have any ideas for broadcasting for, you know, inexpensive broadcasting, that would be great too. Is there anything else you wanted to say, Kay? No, nope. just um, always be happy and be in joy. Keep those vibrations up. Do whatever you can. <laughs> So. You can do it. <laughs> you can what? You can do it. You can oh, do you it. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, we hope that this series will be of value to you. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Love you.